Okay, this gentleman here is a state lawmaker and a practicing lawyer. Not unusual because most state lawmakers have second jobs or they'd starve to death. But tonight we're investigating Representative Todd Hunter's potential conflict of interest. Hunter promised new legislation to reform the Texas Wind Insurance Agency after victims of Hurricane Harvey say their claims were shortchanged. Well, now we've learned that Hunter stands to profit by suing the same agency he has vowed to reform. Investigator Mario Diaz lays out the case and asks Representative Hunter for his side of the story. Since Harvey came ashore 15 months ago, Channel 2 Investigates has been chronicling the challenges faced by Texans in the coastal communities of Rockport and Port Aransas. This whole corner of my roof blew off. Property owners trusted the Texas Windstorm Insurance Association, also known as TWIA, to make them whole after the storm. TWIA is the insurer of last resort for 14 coastal counties and parts of Harris County. Am I about to take a look at TWIA? The answer is yes. State Representative Todd Hunter has been critical of TWIA for nearly a year. Should there be a change in legislation? Yes. Earlier this month, Hunter doubled down on his plans to make changes to TWIA when the state legislature convened in January. I'm looking at several pieces of legislation. But Representative Hunter is working another angle, which has some of his constituents asking, who is he really representing? It appears to be that he's working for himself and not us. Not only is Representative Hunter in the uniquely powerful position of an elected official pushing to reform TWIA, but as Channel 2 Investigates has uncovered, he also is teaming up with big storm attorneys to battle the quasi-governmental entity in court. Ironic, considering that only a few years ago, Texans for lawsuit reform listed Hunter as a leader in the fight to stop storm-chasing lawyers. Big storm attorneys have contributed tens of thousands to past campaigns of Representative Hunter. And those same attorneys make it clear Hunter is on their team touting his political office. What we've done is team up with Todd Hunter, who, you know, uh, the representative uh, lives in Corpus, and, and another law firm. That's Rick Daly of the firm Daly & Black during a presentation to the city of Ingleside. Daly telling city officials Hunter is politically well-connected. And that's part of the reason why we got him and Todd Hunter involved, because we knew that there was going to be a political aspect to all this, and in order to get everybody made whole and get the cities get back up and running, you know, you got to have a, a combination of people who know the law and people who have political connections, people who have money, and people who have uh, employees that can do the work. And so that's why we put this team together. Sure. How is that not interpreted as someone who is leveraging your office well, for profit? You know, for years, I've been a lawyer and I work with insurance companies as well. If somebody wants to leverage me, they can. There's nothing I can do about it. Court records clearly show Hunter making recent court appearances in civil suits against TWIA. I would say I'm probably not the one in court, but I'm working with people that are going to court, yes. I have a reporter's record right here. That no, shows I, that, I'm, no, I'm saying that I'm not the that you lawyer arguing the court. But, but you were in court. Sure, says. I've been to court many times. Hugh Brady is the director of the Legislative Lawyering Clinic at the University of Texas School of Law. It sounds a little bit like the fox guard in the hen house. Brady questions the portrayal of Hunter's services in presentations we've obtained. Lawyers are not supposed to imply that they have an advantage in any litigation because of governmental or other political connections that they may have. Representative Hunter understands the importance of ethics and politics. He is, after all, a former member of the House Committee on General Investigating and Ethics. No, I don't think you're supposed to leverage your office, no. You know, I, I'm not, I, I just don't think it's uh, leveraging office, but I see the point. But as he says this, let's not forget Representative Hunter's response earlier after watching what Channel 2 investigates uncovered. If somebody wants to leverage me, they can. There's nothing I can do about it. As of November 7th, out of the 302 lawsuits filed against TWIA since Hurricane Harvey, 231 are by the firm Daly & Black, those numbers according to TWIA. Now, during our interview, Hunter told us he hasn't profited much, if any, on those lawsuits where he is collaborating with Daly & Black. And Dominican Bill, Representative Hunter, also cannot tell us exactly how many cases he has joined in on. Mm. Okay. I have a feeling you will keep looking at this one. We plan to. Okay. All right, Mario, thank you very much.